Hello, in this video we're going to set up a Kubernetes cluster on AWS and do a simple Kubernetes deployment to demonstrate Ringmaster. The project is hosted on GitHub so let's jump right into the works example and see if we can get it working. So we've got a list of commands that we can run to download files. Let's grab a copy of those uh, and let's jump into IntelliJ inside of a new project and just make ourselves a little scratch file where we can edit this list down. Okay, so this list does pretty much everything that Ringmaster supports at the moment. So we're going to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to get rid of all the extra VPCs. We're going to get rid of all of the um, EFS stuff that, we don't, that we're not interested in and also some of the SSL stuff as well just to make things real simple okay so we'll be left with ambassador an external load balancer and some other bits and pieces uh, if we run these commands now we'll see ringmaster doing the download for us Okay, and this will give us a whole bunch of files that we've got now. So if we look around, we've now got a stack directory. Um, we've got some IAM policy that Ringmaster downloaded for us. Um, external DNS will let us set up Route 53 for things that we create. So next up, we need a thing called a databag.yaml file. Uh, we can grab some demo content from the example and just create ourselves a new file and paste that in there. And what this will do is just give us some input values to the scripts when we first run them. Um, what we're gonna do now is just adjust this as needed. Um, and this might take a couple of minutes. Okay, so, so here's our finished data bag file. And all that's left to do now is run the uh, ringmaster stack up command and this will create all of our infrastructure for us. So pretty much all you've got to do now is um, sit back, relax and hopefully it will work. Um, EKSCTL will take a little while to run so we're just going to fast forward through some of that. The error was um, harmless there as well that's just saying the cluster doesn't exist because we haven't created it yet the output of the uh, system is pretty raw at the moment and what you're going to see now is just um, ringmaster running all of the various commands and feeding the outputs of each one into the inputs of the next one as required okay so that's the data bag system doing its thing um, this has almost finished now and once this is finished, we will have our cluster running and we'll be able to deploy applications to it. So we can inspect the state of the cluster using the regular kubectl command. We can list our pods as we normally would do and let's just see if those are all starting up for us okay so that looks pretty good um, fast forward a little bit and we can see that everything is up and running so what we're going to do now is we're going to just create ourselves a little demo website so we can see this thing worked so we're going to make a new directory and we're just going to call it demo we'll give it the 0500 number so that it comes after the other scripts that we're dealing with and then we'll just make a little file just called demo.kubectl.yaml okay and this, by calling it .kubectl.yaml it will be processed by kubectl okay for the content here we're just going to borrow some that i wrote earlier okay so this has got a service in there uh, we've got a regular deployment we're just going to use the httpd image and we're going to do a test substitution variable too the ingress is what configures ambassador to send traffic to our website and the rule at the bottom is what will set up route 53 to use this uh, we run ringmaster stack up again and uh, because ringmaster is idempotent we can run this command as many times as we want without trashing stuff 
um, it will check the current state of each script and eventually it will get on to the new script that we added and it will bring up our little website so let's sit tight and see if this works no errors so let's launch kubectl and see um, what pods we have now okay we can see that we have up the top there our demo pod pending and um, so let's fast forward into the future and hit the website and we can see that it works okay so all we've got left to do now is just clear up after ourselves um, so if we run ring master stack down this will take down the entire stack, including the Kubernetes cluster, um, which takes several minutes. If we fast forward into the future, we can see that this mostly is working. Um, the errors that we're getting about deleting IAM policy are things that we're not really too bothered about. Um, that policy can't be deleted because there are other stacks using it. Uh, but that is pretty much it. So that is how you create a complete website in only a few minutes using Ringmaster.